Thank you very much, uh, Senator Lieberman. And uh, gentlemen, thank you for your extraordinary service to the nation and to the men and women that you lead with such distinction and their contributions also. Uh, General Mattis, you indicated that uh, the most significant threat in your region is Iran. Mm -hmm. And um, given the issue of strategic focus, where if you have limited resources, you've got to keep maximum pressure on the key threat, uh, can you comment about what uh, could happen if we either coordinated or supported or encouraged or even participated in military operations in Syria with respect to the Iranians? Would, would, they, would this be neutral in terms of our efforts? Would this disrupt international collaboration? Would this create unanticipated and unwarranted advantages to the Iranians? Sir, I think that if we went into providing options, whatever they are, uh, to hasten the fall of Assad, uh, as long as those were put together in a coalition international form, uh, it would cause a great deal of concern uh, and discontent in Tehran. But the one area that would be problematic would be a, a something that was perceived as unilateral or so dominated by the United States that uh, this lack of international collaboration uh, could undermine our, our intentions and our, 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 our motives. Is that true? I think uh, international collaboration would be essential to the successful outcome. So, in effect, we're uh, working on, as we speak, uh, pulling together that international sort of context for efforts that are directed to what I, many have said, I think uh, we hope the ultimate demise of the Assad regime. Is that a fair characterization? Yes, sir. Uh, and let me just take it one step further because there's some discussion of um, establishing uh, safe areas and safe havens. Um, Operationally on the ground, let's assume that could be done. Uh, it would seem to pose some problems. First, that the, the Syrian military forces are very well organized and robust and fairly proficient. Uh, I, I don't know how long they could they would tolerate those uh, safe havens. But second, uh, given safe havens, it would also I think imp imply that someone would have to go in and organize training and, and organize literally an army. That could take months, if not years. Uh, are those considerations being thought through carefully, and what it would mean in terms of uh, commitment and resources, and again, uh, deflecting efforts uh, away from other more serious threats. Sir, I, I've not been directed to uh, do detailed planning on these. I, I would prefer to take some of the Senator sure. Reid in, in uh, the closed session, but the, it would require regional or surrounding state support to do something like this. I've looked at the maps, and there are no terrain delimiting features where we could create those safe havens. In other words, you would have to create them using military forces. Uh, it's not like the mountains of northern Iraq where the Kurds could be up in that area against Saddam Hussein, helped up, and helped up in that area against him. It would be a significant commitment of resources. Of course, the international uh, aspect could uh, reduce our commitment if we got sufficient from others. Thank you very much.